Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there from all of us at the Charlotte Hornets. I'm Matt Ruchensky for Hornets.com and being joined by two incredibly special guests on this Mother's Day, Cody Zeller and his mother, Lori Zeller. Actually, we should probably flip that and say Lori Zeller and her son, her Cody son. Zeller. That's my, that's <laughs> How best, are you guys that's, doing? That's my best title and my best intro is I'm, I'm Lori's son. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's how I'm known. Is that the way you like it, Lori? You, you think you got to make sure that he puts you first always, correct? That's very sweet of him. But my husband I, and I are kind of known as Luke, Tyler, and Cody's parents. So we don't really have an identity anymore. So it's all about Cody. <laughs> that can be understandable, and I'm sure he'll agree with us. I don't Mother's Day, though, Mom. Oh, well, you, you maybe. all the credit for Mother's Day. Day. <laughs> <One day. laughs> you know, you mentioned you raised a house full of seven footers and family has always been extremely important in the Zeller house. It, it, has it not? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, our family was a lot of fun to raise. Um, we have a lot of memories of those days and um, it, was, it was a busy time. It was a time when, um, you know, you just kind of try to keep your head above water, but, um, and you buy a lot of groceries and um but great memories of those days cody what can you say to your mom for all the time she's spent and all the times in gyms and practicing and bringing you there and she's carried that out throughout your professional career both her and your dad you know obviously it's really important for them to see you play what do you have to say to your mom about doing that yeah obviously both my parents especially my mom is they're always my biggest fan the biggest supporters going all the way back to uh when i was just a little kid taking me to soccer practice and football and everything else a lot of a lot of smelly car car rides for mom back and forth to practices and stuff but and you, like you said now um you know in the nba they come down here maybe once a month or so and uh you know see a lot of games here in charlotte or even on the road they see me when i come to play in indiana obviously uh cleveland is not too far a drive for them so uh they put a lot of miles on their on their uh, tahoe and uh but yeah they've they've always been a big supporter so i'm very thankful for that well, you can be thankful for that. And what we're thankful for is that Lori has been tremendous and sent us some pictures that we're going to have a chance now to kind of look through as we look back at some of the life and times of Cody Zeller. Um, we think this is great. We started off here. Obviously, we've got all of the boys here working, you know, in, in their Halloween costumes. And as we kind of go through it here, you know, we're going to see as once we get this control. Here we go. I got this going now. So we're going to kind of cycle through some of these pictures, see how they work. We've got Cody in his Halloween costume. We've got the brothers together, all of these wonderful things. One thing I'm noticing first is Cody's style. Has he always been this stylish, Lori? <laughs> he loved to put his own outfits together. And uh, Oh, don't, uh, don't give me that. You were the one dressing me in these outfits. <laughs> Now he looks back and he was like, what was I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we see him in here and he was the baby of the family, obviously, as, as, as a mom. Was he always being protected by you? Did you already look out for your baby, Cody? Uh, absolutely. I mean, you know, the baby of the family and, and um, the baby of the family, I think, always does get a little bit of preferential treatment. He, my, my brothers would definitely say I do. Uh, me, I don't know. But is that a Chicago Bulls outfit? I don't know if I want to show that. But <laughs> yeah. my, my allegiance has changed a little bit since then. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Is that that's in our house? That's in our current house, Mom? Yeah, yeah. It had the tile floor and mm -hmm. that dining room table, bar stools, yeah. We've, the changed, we've changed the floors. We've changed the table. The new chairs yeah how much we was, you know 20 years ago yeah now, now this was easter <laughs> in 95 so you were three years old and i thought the red socks really added to the red shorts that's a that's a good look i should i should recreate that if i had that outfit right now i would recreate that <laughs> when we when we get back to games, we want to see you walking in in that, Cody. <laughs> I'm going to. You You wait. I'm going to. <laughs> We've awesome. got the next one coming up here. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? And what are, you, what are you eating here? So that that was Halloween, and I was a room mother for Luke's, um, probably like his first grade class. 
And so all the kids had dressed up at school that day. So I decided when we went in that I would let Cody dress up in his Halloween outfit. And he's eating a cupcake that the kids had passed around for treats with his, the palm of his hand, basically. That's awesome too. I, that's another one that I might have to recreate. I look like the uh, I look like the Chick Fil A mascot, the cow. I feel like I feel like I could get away with that. You definitely could. Hey, nothing wrong with a sponsor plug there. Maybe we got something yeah, new for it. If I could get like a free Chick Fil A sandwich or something, if I wore that outfit again. I love it. All right, one thing I have noticed that in most of these pictures up until this one, Cody was the smiling kid. He was the happy kid. I wasn't sure if it was maybe because his, he, he was always that happy or did his brothers kind of intimidate him enough and told him, you better smile in these pictures. But here he's <laughs> obviously got a chance to be a little tougher in this picture. Um, I think the toughness in this picture is totally fake. Um, <laughs> he, was, he was the happiest kid, always smiling, um, always talking. And um, on one particular car trip, his brothers told him that he had a limited amount of words in his lifetime and that he was using all of them up. And so he needed to quit talking so much. For, so for hours, he was quiet and they got what they wanted, but he eventually came to me and, and asked if that was really true. And I was like, no, you're okay. You can talk. <laughs> Pretty true. Pretty true. What was it like with them? What was it like growing up with them? Cody, did they toughen you up? And, and is, did, is this kind of where you, brought this toughness on the court? Yeah, I think, uh, I think I was, I think I was a little bit of a past as a little brother. Um, I was always kind of, you know, being a little bit of a thorn in the side for, for my brothers. And, um, especially in the summers, we spent so much time together that, uh, I would eventually just get on their nerves and one of them would beat me up. And, uh, my mom is, is such a saint because she's, she deals with, uh, you know, three boys in the house. And uh, so there, there was a few times I'm sure mom kind of turned her head and was like, Cody probably deserved that beating. So I'll, I'll, let, him, I'll let him go at it for a little while. So, so yeah, there'd be a point where, where both my brothers would snap a little bit and, and uh, I would learn my lesson. Do you still have to play mediator, Lori? No, no. And fortunately, they've grown up to be, um, I, I'd really call them best friends with each other. I'm so thankful for that. Um, I think a lot of days they get to talk to each other. They really stay in touch. They bounce things off of each other. And I'm so thankful for the relationship that all of them have with each other. Yeah. That's great. I, I that. We were, we got on each other's nerves a little bit when we were growing up, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. We were always, you know, competing with each other and we'd, we'd always had someone to play with. And so now, especially since we've moved out, we've kind of moved on. Uh, to our lives, different parts of the of the country. Uh, I think we're even closer now than even when we were living under the same roof. So I'm very thankful for both my brothers. They've gone through a lot of the same stuff that I've gone through only a couple years ahead of me. So, um, you know, I, I can look to them at any time, whether it's, you know, making my college decision or coming to the NBA or, you know, big life things. Um, so I'm, I'm very thankful for them. I'm very close to them. All right, as we move through here, this next one, we have obviously see the boys with Steve. we got a couple of them here. I like the other one where we've got a ball hidden in front of somebody's face. In front of, is that Tyler's face? That's, you know. that's uh, Luke holding the Oh, that's Luke's that's face. Walking. Okay. Yeah. So talk to, clear something up for us here, Lori. We know you were a collegiate basketball player as well. We see these pictures with Steve, but I think this, this basketball skill, did you get it from your – did you pass that on to Cody? My, my mom is the one Hall of Famer in the family. She she was a little bit of an athlete back in the day. I've heard plenty of stories. Uh, she played basketball and softball at a Division three school in Iowa. So, uh, so yeah, mom, mom would get out there in the driveway and shoot around a little bit with us growing up, too. Could you still take him, Lori? Oh, no. No, I was – no. I knew when to quit. My husband did not know when to quit. He would – he banged with him um, until – um, Luke was probably maybe a freshman in high school and um, Steve came home with a, um, a bloody nose and a black eye and he's like I think it might be time for me to stop trying to beat him so yeah dad, maybe dad, being a horse though dad dad's probably six five he's pretty well built so he would always play we were able to play two on two if, if dad would join in with us so uh, but he yeah he used to do the no blood no foul he used to push us around a little bit so <laughs> Our toughness comes a little bit from from dad, but 
Uh, but yeah, mom's got a nice little jump shot. So yeah, mom can get out there and shoot around. Well, it's nice that both of your parents blessed you with this God-given ability. This might be a great opportunity now just to say thanks to mom for being able to give you this and kind of pass this on to you. Great genes, mom. <laughs> You're welcome. It's all in the family. See, I, want, I wanted to allow her to feel a little good right now and, and you to feel good, Cody, you know, so that she can get that kind of appreciation because before we show this next pick, I just want to make sure that everybody's oh, ready. I got one more story for this. Is I'm okay, here we go. So so we got, uh, obviously, no Charlotte Hornets support again. This is uh, Luke's got a Pacers hat on. And so we were always uh, Pacers fans growing up. Reggie Miller, Luke, especially Luke, was a huge Reggie Miller fan. So mom can tell the story of, I mean, she would do anything for us three boys. Uh, but about Luke wanting to get an autograph from Reggie Miller. Yeah, and so it was – um, unusual, I guess, or only maybe once a year that we would be able to go to an NBA game. And it was a big deal whenever we went. My husband would try to get tickets through work. And we would get, um, you know, like a block of tickets and, and be way up in the nosebleed section. Well, Luke was probably nine or 10 years old. And he really wanted, he loved Reggie Miller. He really wanted an autograph of Reggie Miller. He collected a lot of basketball cards. So he had all these cards, Reggie Miller, um, Workman, um, a lot of his teammates and stuff. And so we decided we would go and be there when the gates opened. And we would go wait in the tunnel and, you know, wave our, our basketball cards so that we could try to get Reggie Miller's autograph. And so on the way up to the game, Tyler, I guess, had the flu, got the flu. He was getting sick in a bag. And we just decided, you'll be okay, just, you know, we'll, we'll clean you up, and we're still going to go to the game. So Tyler was a trooper. He wasn't feeling good. And Steve kind of stayed with um, Cody and Tyler. And when the gates opened, Luke and I ran to the tunnel, and um, we were waiting for Reggie to um, finish with shooting practice. And so, um, so Reggie came walking through the tunnel, and we were so excited. And I had the Sharpie, and I was like, waving it in his face, sign my son's shirt, sign my son's shirt. And he turned to us and I was like, so shocked. I heard a different version of the story that you were yelling from the <laughs> other side, like <laughs> Reggie, right? Like you were that crazy mom, okay. Something like that, right. you know. Okay. And so he turned and he walked to us and Luke had a sweatshirt, a Reggie Miller sweatshirt. So we turned Luke around and Reggie was signing the back of his shirt. And so Luke really probably didn't even see Reggie, you know, like he, he got the autograph. And then I handed him a basketball card. And I'm like, and can you sign this card? And I was so flustered that I had Workman's card on top. And so I handed him somebody else's basketball card. And he's like, ma'am, I am not signing that card. And I looked and I was like, oh, no. And so I quick shuffled the cards, gave him the Reggie Miller one, and he he quickly signed it and was like, I just need to get away from this woman. <laughs> and so we have two autographs of Reggie Miller, but it was a lot of work. Moms always have to adapt though, right, Cody? And she adapted for you guys and got it done anyway. I, I think about that a lot because it was such a treat for us to go to a Pacers game and we would go once a year. We'd sit up in the, the highest nosebleed. And I think about that sometimes now. It puts things into perspective because – you know, there's some guy, I'm, it's a, you know, a Tuesday night, I've already played 60 games, I'm tired, I don't, you know, I might not have the same same juice, uh, but there's some kid up in the nosebleeds, this is the one game that he's going to see, and especially like a go, you know, I, I shoot and I'm, you know, trying to get to the weight room and, you know, do all my pregame stuff, and there's some, you know, crazy mom or someone yelling for an autograph, like, you know, they're going to remember that, so, so I, I think back to that a lot, but uh, like you said, obviously very thankful that mom would do anything for us growing up. And that's awesome. And, and you know, you mentioned crazy mom. She's definitely not afraid to share some embarrassing moments. Uh, she mentioned to us that in this next picture we're going to see, this is pretty much how things went every time you got the boys together. It, it, isn't that right as, as we kind of scroll through and get to this one? Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this is what it took to try to get a family picture. You'll notice I finally have Tyler lined up. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing with his hands, but 
Luke is all dressed up. They neither one have shoes on, of course, but Luke's all dressed up in his Pacers sweatsuit. And then I turn to get Cody lined up, and Cody is over beside the bush being Cody. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite pictures of all time. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I feel as if we might have a meme here coming up soon. I haven't seen that picture in a while. That is, oh, that's just golden. And we aren't too much better these days. We just, just we're not a huge fan of taking pictures, but like family vacation or something, we'll, you know, we'll have, okay, everyone, we get one picture for Christmas cards. And yeah, there, there'll be one guy like flicking the, flicking the other guy's ear and like, we're just all over the place. But uh, usually, usually we all have pants on. Usually we aren't, uh, there's no one. <laughs> peeing in the background so uh maybe our maybe our um you know we've gotten a little bit better since these days but that picture is awesome how much of a flood of memories does looking at these kind of pictures bring back for both of you you have mentioned you haven't seen that picture in a while as we kind of pull these pictures down right now yeah it uh it brings back a lot of memories but uh especially for mother's day it, it makes me realize even more how how appreciative i am for for mom and the upbringing that that I had and I'm so thankful to have both my parents, but especially mom, she was able to deal with all three of us. So I'm very thankful for that. What about you, Lori? As we look back through these, you know, we saw some of Cody's Instagram posts kind of reenacting his jump rope experience as well. But what was it like for you just to kind of scroll through some of these and, and give you guys these memories again? Yeah, it's really fun to look back on things like this. And um, especially during the quarantine time when we've had more time to be home and, and go through that. And that's how I found Cody's jump rope routine. Um, I've been going through old photo albums and trying to organize. And uh, Cody did a tremendous um, thing for us last year is he converted all of our VHS tapes to digital. And so hours and hours of home movies and basketball games. And now it's all digital. We can send it on our phones or email it. And um, so I think it was Sunday a couple days ago, Steve and I just got out the, the hard drive and started watching these movies. And um, so it's, it's great to have those and we'll, we'll always treasure those. And we've learned from Cody too that you can still punish him at this point in time. When we checked it back with him in April, he was saying when he was home, you tried to ground him? Is, is this what happened? Somebody's got a story here. Yeah, I think it, he was eating a cookie for breakfast, and, um, and he was staying with us. And I said, you know, you're not too old for me to still ground you. <laughs> and he ate the cookie anyway, of course. But, yeah, yeah. so we Mom, have a good time. Mom has been very cautious with the quarantine. And, you know, I've been uh, trying to respect the rules. But at the same time, I had, I had a buddy down the street that I was going to play tennis with. And I was like, that's, that's not too bad. We're on opposite sides of the opposite sides of the court. We're six feet away. And, uh, so mom shot that down and, uh, I wasn't too excited about it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 27 now. I make my own rules. I have my own house, but when I was back at home, I still have to get, live by mom's rules. So, uh, so yeah, she wasn't too excited about that. We saw Cody getting rather creative when he was at home too, Lori. What did you think of some of these, uh, you know, endeavors that he was taking on through social media, you know, learning how to play the guitar, you know, we saw the cooking with family, all of these different things. How, how's he doing on adjusting these new skills he's picking up? <laughs> Actually, he was, he was so sweet because I had been cooking a lot. He was here for Easter. And so I'd been in the kitchen a lot. And he's like, I think I'm going to make supper for you guys tonight. And I was like, okay, let's, let's do it. So he made the Frito taco salad and, and he, he did do it on social media, I think. But um, it turned out great. I was impressed. And um, I think his guitar lessons are, is a work in progress. He's still working at that. Um, he did some woodworking with his brother. He went to Luke's house, did some uh, home improvements. And um, yeah, I think it's been kind of a fun time. What she doesn't tell you is her expectations are so low for me that she was thrilled about me making tacos. You literally just brown the meat and you have seasoning. And she's like, wow, you blew my mind. This is the most cooking that I've ever seen from you. So, so that I do have that working in my favor. Her expectations are so low with all this. 
throughout this whole process, you know, everyone tries to find those uh, silver linings in terms of all of this and everything that's going on right now. How much have you guys really enjoyed getting that extra time to spend together as, you know, you led up to Mother's Day, you were able to be there for quite some time. Yeah, it was fun. It was, uh, you know, obviously to be home for, for Easter and uh, just to spend some time with them. It's usually, you know, I'm back for a few days, I'm on the go, I'm, you know, flights uh, in and out. Uh, so a lot of times we get together just kind of in passing. So uh, two or three weeks where I just couldn't couldn't leave the house, couldn't do much of anything. We played a lot of board games. Uh, Mom will tell you that she's good at darts, which is uh, the one thing that we won. Um, but anyway, so we were all all competitive and you know very thankful for those uh, those memories for sure. What about for you, Lori? How nice was it to have Cody home? Be honest. Yeah, yeah. like Cody said, for him to be here at Easter was um, very unusual, and we loved it. It was a special treat that, that he could be here because uh, more often we go to his place in Charlotte. It's easy for us to travel, and, um, you know, we usually go to Easter services and stuff with him out in um, Charlotte. So it was just fun that he was back here and, um, and that we had all the, those days together. I'm, well, I'm, surprised you, I'm surprised you aren't jumping to tell the dart story because that's your. Well, I, I did beat he and Steven darts, um, I think three times in a row. And um, it was only after they'd been practicing and playing against each other. And one night after supper, they're like, well, hey, mom, you want to go down and play darts with us? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I haven't played darts since college. And so um, they did the 301 points where you count down, you got to get mm -hmm. to zero. I don't know a lot about darts, but anyway, um, but anyway, I won the first game and they were like, well, that was just beginner's luck. That was such a fluke. So then I, I won the second game and then they both got really serious and they, they tried hard on the third game, but they still couldn't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that they were trying so hard and practicing to get ready before they brought you down and then you came down and whooped them. Yeah, I didn't even have to practice. It was it was kind of like after the first game it was like oh that was pretty funny like mom came down here and won and the <laughs> second game was like are you serious she really won by the third one I was like I was like my night is ruined like I, I can't <laughs> like this is this is embarrassing mom hasn't done this in ten years we've been practicing all day so uh, yeah we had we had some fun with it. Well, I'd just like to thank you both for taking the time to spend some time with us here on Mother's Day. I think it's been tremendous having you both on. Lori, you've done one heck of a job despite probably all of the grief that Cody has given you throughout his life. I just want to give Cody one last opportunity to kind of just give your mom a happy Mother's Day message. You know, let's, let's warm her heart a little for everything you've done to her, Cody. Yeah, I think like we said, it's uh, especially growing up to be able to deal with us three, uh, you know, years a you know, you're such a saint, but even now, uh, you know, we've become uh, best friends since I've moved out of the house and uh, it's much more of a, a friendship, a very close friendship uh, rather than a, a mother-son relationship that, you know, you were shaking your finger at me and making sure I get good grades growing up. But, but now we've turned into best friends and I always enjoy checking in on you, having you here in Charlotte. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm so thankful for you. So happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I love it. Thank you guys both again for joining us. And a ha very happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there who are watching us on Hornets.com or on our, all of our social spaces. For Cody and Lori Zeller, I'm Matt Rochinski from Hornets.com.